Hi, I'm Cameron from Async, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at our condensing waterless condensers. The waterless condensers use only the shape of the glassware in order to condense. Despite the fact that they don't use any water, they are just as effective as Liebig condensers. Our customers find that, as well as the significant environmental benefit from the water savings of the condensing, they also make their money back through cost saving within three to six months of use, purely by just turning off the tap. They also reduce the risk of flooding in the lab and the potential of water leaking into an oil bar, spreading it everywhere and potentially causing a fire risk. Of course, the oil bars can be removed as well if you use the condensing in tandem with the drysin. The condensing can be used from the smallest size round bottom flasks all the way up to one litre. Above one litre round bottom flasks, we recommend using our condensing maxi, which can also be used with jacketed reactor vessels. In addition to the variable sizing, the condensing also have different shaped sockets, so they can work with pretty much any round bottom flasks you require, as well as distillation adapters. We have British sizing, as well as American fittings too. All of these condensers are made of borosilicate glass, which has excellent resistance to temperature change. It can also be repaired by your local glass bar as well. One last small design feature that these have, which was a slightly later improvement, are the anti-roll studs. These ensure that the condensing won't roll off your lab bench. So how do the air condensers actually work without any water at all? Well, it's all down to the structure of the glass. The ribs cause a turbulent flow inside of the condenser. This increases surface contact with the vapor inside and the glass by up to five times. Our original inspiration for the design came from the cooling towers of power stations. They have the convex design, which induces condensation on a large scale. And it also works on this small scale as well, even more effectively. So there you have it, our condensing waterless condensers. If you'd like to know any more about these or have any questions, feel free to get in touch. We'd be very happy to help. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video. See you soon and bye for now. Bye. Bye.